Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Nanolades at Dawn. I remain your host, ShadowFury333, and this next match is going to be between North Chilean G and Dyfriend on Comic Catcher. Let us begin. North Chilean G going for Hovercraft Factory. Not terribly unusual, but a little bit uncommon. While on the other hand, Dyfriend going for Gunship Factory. Dyfriend on a gunship kick. I'm not sure if they played this in, play this that shortly. It wasn't like they played this immediately after the previous game we saw. They did play it following that game, but it was a couple days afterwards. But no, apparently Diamond Friend's still in a bit of a gunship kick. So going for the gunships on the large maps, which... Combi Catcher, another one of those maps where you can go gunships due to the, sp the spacing and the size of the map, but it's still tough because your opponent's going to be able to get to you within a minute. The maps that really make it work are things like Ravaged or... Ackland Wastelands, where they're either where they're big enough and they have small enough choke points that you not only can set up those gunship factories and make it just a fast rush, you can also do it without giving it away, or at least without your opponent being able to scout out what exactly you're doing. That's not the case for Comic Catcher, and that's why we're going to see North Chilean G go for some anti-air very shortly, and they go for Hovercraft, so Flails, and Flails are pretty much the best mobile anti-air in the game. I think. I, I might be mistaken. It's It could be tied with Tridents, but yeah. Flails are awesome. Just a single unit coming in there to get as a single unit to get rid of air. For cost, that's debatable. But for single unit anti-air power, Flails are terrifying. Do not mess with the Flails if you have air. At all. So North Chilean G already ready. Dying Friend... Looks like, are they running defense with their air strikes? It looks like they kind of are. They do have the one blast wing minefields, or mine, not minefield. A single mine does not a minefield to make. Shadow Fury must remember that. But yes, a blast, blast wing mine right on top of the metal spot. So it's at least something, but once that flail is up, which it soon will be, then it will... Oh, now, what am I saying? That's the second flail. First flail is already up. And yeah, in case you're wondering, it's 400, almost 400 damage shot. Every five seconds? Yeah. So, not something you want to mess with. That Banshee is dead. And at homes, too, which is the real scary part. I really have a hard time with the idea that something that... Actually, not everything is homing. It's homing or lasers. But yeah, if someone were to try to argue with me that there was some anti-air that existed that was better that didn't have homing, I don't know. Oh, wow. Dying Friends really surprised by... Fl yeah, flails are beasts. That's, like... Against Hovercraft, air is actually a very bad choice. This is not a good matchup for Di Like, Dimefriend needs to get another factory up as soon as possible. Because this matchup is not working out. The only option they really have at this point, sticking with gunships for any length of time, is to build up a dozen gnats and stun that flail. And then deal with everything. Short of building another factory. But I don't see Dimefriend building another factory at all right now. They have no factory construction queued. I have no idea what they're planning on doing from here on out. Other than, I guess, building up their economy and hoping for something. And North Chilean G on the same boat. Like, Switch? You can't win with gunships. Or if you... It's going to be very difficult. Even Nats would be a problem, because Nats would require that they get built, and they get one shot by the Flails, and it's really just a matter of overwhelming the Flail with the Nats, and then stunning it to death. And if the flail's right on your pad, that's not happening. The, the, there's no way something can be built right now. Dimefriend, what are you doing? Build something. I realize this is a panicky situation. It's a tough situation. Dimefriend's setting up their economy in order to try to rebuild as quickly. Like, It's clear that they're getting the caretaker. They want to get the economy they can. Build up a factory in half a minute before North Chilean G pushes even more units into their base. Because as it is, they can't build anything. So build up something. Get up enough energy to do so. And then from there... Actually, right now the gunships could build. That flail went away. Yeah, just get that 20-20 and then build up another factory. Push all the metal into that. That could work, maybe. But yeah, that's the thing, is... This... Dealing with flails basically means switching factories. So yeah, Hovercraft definitely a safe bet when you're dealing... Because Gunship is kind of the meta. It's sort of fallen out of favor. People have gotten used to Gunship starts and how to deal with them, and it's not as big of a thing. But I think Dimethroin might be either more comfortable going for Gunships on large maps, which I totally understand, because I am as well. Or it's that 
the idea being, oh, well, it's kind of falling out of meta, but it's still there. It's still a thing. It's just people were kind of used to countering it. So maybe my opponent won't think to counter it because maybe they'll think that I think it's out of meta and won't bother. But clearly, North Chilean G going for Hovercraft. I mean, I don't know that North Chilean G was going for Hovercraft in order to have the anti-air option, but they definitely paid off. Because at this point, Dying Friend has no army still. And any attempt to build an army is met with death. Thankfully for them, the Light Vehicle Factor will be online very shortly, but unfortunately for them, North Chilean G is quite a ways ahead. That Wasp, though, it did die, got blown to pieces, but I think it's right here. Yes, that is what's left of the Wasp. But it did manage to get Dime Friend's economy up to within 10 metal per second of North Chilean G's. Not great. Gotta be honest, it's a little disappointing, but it's at least something. So Dime Friend isn't completely dead in the water, they're just at a disadvantage. The one thing in their favor, though, although it looks like Dime Friend well aware of the possibility and still going for daggers, is that North Chilean G doesn't have much of a ground army. Most of their army is flails. They don't know that North that Dime Friend is doing any switching. I'm sure they're guessing they're switching. I mean, it's all daggers all the way. They only have enough flails to keep going, so they're not going to have that many problems. But yeah, they are still under the impression that or not on the impression, they are still focused on air. They haven't gotten their ground army as built up as it needs to be, especially not in position. Unfortunately, that ugh, they need more Scorchers. Dime friend, pull back. You gotta pull back, get more Scorchers set up, pull them together. It's this, like the Scorchers are maybe gonna kill two or three daggers and then get torn to shreds. Unless the positioning works out perfectly. And it actually looks like it will. The flails are straggling just enough. All the way, what is their relative speed? Nah, speed 106 almost compared to the Scorchers 111. Scorchers can catch up, but it'll take them a long time. Long enough for North Chilean G's daggers to get in and manage to deal with this. So Dimefreund, this is what I mean. Pull back, get your Scorchers together, and then deal with the daggers. Don't try to do anything else. Don't try to do anything too rash, like throw your Scorchers away. Because North Chilean G has twice the economy of Dimefreund right now. That small economic not quite parody, but that, that attempt to keep the economy going for Dying Friend, it's run its course. North Chilean G has exploded. I mean, how many works do they have? Okay, six active quills going around the map, building things up, managing to some harassment. Okay, so Dying Friend is not completely done, but still. North Chilean G has way more money than they can spend right now. They need the energy to actually spend that money. The one advantage is they don't have... Oh, well, they do have a lot of production. Never mind, they switched over to light vehicles, so... This is going to be painful. Dimefriend basically cannot fight that army head-on at all. The expansions are naked. That is one thing. If Dimefriend sends a bunch of Scorchers around, manages to get past the daggers, or just avoid them completely. But this is tough, because North Chilean G has been smart. They're not expanding in a way that their daggers can't defend. Or not easily. There's, I mean, there's Lotuses to help out in the southwest. But basically, it's not like Dimefriend can go past the daggers. They have to kill the daggers, which means that they have to somehow overpower them. And given that they aren't going for levelers or ravagers or anything, they'd be able to... Oh, never mind. They are going for ravagers. And they have a leveler. Okay, so they are going for the things that will help them counter. Well done. Especially with the Scorchers coming in play, the levelers and ravagers will be even more useful than, the, than just against daggers, but still, very useful. That is the correct choice. Like, get that stuff set up. Get those levelers to discourage anything from coming in. Manage to push through. If Diamond can get rid of a handful of metal extractors, like five or metal extractors or so, and build as much as they can here, then they'll be fine. That'll get them back to parity. I mean, they will be still at its advantage because North Chilean G has their army. They have all the stuff they've gotten from the metal, but they only have had about 40 metal per or 50 metal per second production for the last few minutes. It's not great. I mean, obviously, they'd wipe. It would be better for Dying Friend if it was more even, but North Chilean G does have the economy more than they have the production. So there is that slight reprieve for Dying Friend as they build up their economy and get the production back up to the same standard, which admittedly at this point they haven't done. They only have 30 metal per second going into this factory. They are also going to be excessing metal. Dying Friend, where are your constructors? Or for that matter, commander? I mean, oh, southeast corner. Okay. Actually, with. A little flail just hanging out there. This would actually be a really good time for Dime Friend to. Okay, and getting a wasp as well. I was about to say, really good time for them to get some gunships. Wasp is not what I meant, but it's something. Actually, no, wasp would be a bad idea. 
At this stage in the game, it's very difficult for it to sneak around. They do have... Oh, that was an old Banshee. Never mind. They do, however, have more Banshees coming in. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. And I was able to say it and be correct. It's better to say things that are correct than to lie. I... I mean, generally, that's generally agreed upon as a moral principle of society. So, I'm going to go with that for now. And Dying Friend is, in reality, building up Banshees. So, yeah, just go for that. However, the problem is that that Avercraft Factor still exists, so while going for Banshees is going to be a bit more effective now that there's a larger army to face and more to fight and just more possibilities for flails to be split up between armies and more ground forces to deal with the flails if they're getting careless. So there's something. It's still a situation where the flail can easily just wreck face. Not as easily, though. Definitely it's, it's harder. But then again, there's all the levelers which get rid of the Banshees, so ultimately it's not that great either and that wasp is also dead as the levelers will take care of it there it goes down to the ground broken to pieces not as wrecked as the last leveler though or the last wasp though it's it's still more or less intact the other one is this tiny little speck in the ground but at this point dying friends economic disadvantage is going to be biting them north chilean g i mean they've expanded forward and now they're just filling out the back slowly but surely filling out the back and that's fine. They can do that whenever they like. I mean, they have basically 120 metal easy right here in the backyard that they can take. And North Chilean G takes as Dying Friend realizes, yeah, my opponent has all this metal and I can't really deal with that. And I haven't been dealing with that and I'm dead. Gunship starts. Still kind of out of meta. But not out of meta enough that people aren't going to be able to deal with them fairly easily. Anyway, that was that. The next is going to be Google Frog versus Dancer on Ravage. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.